Welcome to Maze Lico Challenge. Today's problem is maximum points you can obtain from cards. There are several cards arranged in a row, and each card has an associated number of points. The points are given in the integer array, card points. Now in one step, you can take one card from the beginning or from the end of the row. You have to take exactly k cards. Your score is the sum of the points of the cards that you have taken. So given the integer array card points and an integer k, return the maximum score you can obtain. Here in this example, we have an array full of cards, and we can take three. And in order to maximize our score, we would take the ones at the ends, one, six, five. That would be 12. Now the very first instinct is always recursion. We could write some sort of algorithm to recursively fi find all the different paths that we can take, but you need to stop that instinct because um, usually those answers are, are not optimal. And with this May Lico challenge, one of the themes here is whenever you have some sort of endpoint that you're trying to um, get to and and start point, rather than thinking from start to finish, doesn't make sense to go to finish to start. And you can see there in the hint, let the sum of all points be total points, and you need to remove a subarray from the card points with the length of nk. And that makes sense, right? We have to take three cards, so whatever remains here is going to be uh, some subarray that's contiguous or continuous and it's going to be like either this one or this one or this one or this one so what's the idea here we want to minimize whatever the sum of this remaining subarray is and if we can minimize that then we know what the maximum is okay so knowing that it would be a lot easier what we can do is like a sliding window technique we'll start off by getting the sum of uh, the beginning so we'll get n minus k and just get the sum of this and then we'll just move through a sliding window popping off uh, subtracting the first index value and adding the second index value and we'll try to find the minimum sum that we can get from all these subarrays once we have that minimum then it's easy we just get the total sum and subtract the minimum and that's going to be our answer okay so let's first initialize some variables we have the n can be length of card points and we have k so I'm going to get the length of the subarray as m, and this is just going to be n minus k. Now we want to get the total sum of the entire card points. We need that. And we also start with getting the, the minimum, which is going to be uh, sum of card points all the way to m, right? All right, so now we want to do this uh, for loop. And what we'll do is, uh, let's see. Um, well, okay, we need the minimum and we need to keep track of the total sum here. So we'll say for i in range of k, because we have k possible subarrays, uh, what we'll do is, hmm, let's see. Well, we know we're going to store the min here to be min of the min and this sum here, which is going to be what we uh, use, like a temporary rate to calculate the different minimum sums. So the sum would be what? S. First subtract from our card points. I. And add to our temporary sum. Uh, let's see. I plus M, I believe. So once we do that, we can get the minimum and then just return total minus whatever the minimum is. Okay, so let's see if this works. Uh, all right, so that looks like it's working. So let's go ahead and submit that. And there we go. So time complexity is going to be n times k, I believe. And pretty much we use constant space. Yeah, we use constant space because all we have are these variables here. So space is constant. Okay, I, th I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, the, you know, the answer's fairly simple, but it's really getting, uh, being able to uh, figure out that this is the approach, that's the hard part. Because I'm sure many of you uh, will have initially tried to like do exactly what the question asks and pop off like start and the end, but that's just never gonna um, uh, be fast enough. Okay, so 
Okay, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.